Well, hello, and happy Friday to you. It's a beautiful morning in Silicon Valley, and my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and I'd like to share a delight with you this morning. As you can see, I have a model here that looks a little complex, but in reality, it's very, very simple and easy to make, and I'd like to show, share with you and show you the techniques that I used to make it. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and stop the animation and show you the different entities that I use to make this and you'll see that is actually very simple. I started with a sphere and then with the sphere I did a, a shell command. So as you can see, shell if I say control H you can see that there's an actual shell, there's a wall thickness. Pretty simple. When you do the shell the shell has two incarnations. It's got the open and it's got the closed. So the open is when you want the shell to come through to some surface and you want like a cup or something. Um, this is a closed, so it makes a balloon that is totally uh, shelled out. Then I started making different shapes on the shell. And the technique that I used was curve on surface. With curve on surface, you select the surface and then you can start uh, making uh, curves on that surface. If you want a nice closed curve, you make sure that there's this little button right here that says curved. So I did a bunch of those. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of them. I just did them uh, with my own artistic interpretation. I wanted it to make, I wanted it to look like it had grown out of the sea or something like that. And it took me a while to do that because I was really going in there and trying to make sure that it um, had like these pathways, if you will. And it was actually inspired by uh, this piece of sculpture that I saw in TJ Maxx. <laughs> um, I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, but anyway, uh, once I had the, um, the segments uh, all created, uh, curve on surface, I did divide face and the divide face is an operation where you take a surface and you break it up into multi segments and lots of times when you divide face you have the option on to hide the actual curves and if I can go to the uh, effects I can show you that uh, there's all the faces. Uh, in order to use the faces, I thickened them. And when I thickened them, I also uh, used them for a subtract. So what I then had was a hollow sphere with all of these nice little cutouts. And then each cutout was uh, blended smoothly. And so it ended up looking really cool. I just get excited by that. Uh, cool. So I also had a uh, datum thesis. Um, I happen to put it on a different layer. We're typically on layer 61. Control shift. Uh, let's do a control W. And let's bring back the datum thesis. Uh, where is it? Ooh, there is settings. Is that, blah, 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 blah. Okay, show me the datum thesis, please. Show there it goes. Okay, so the datum thesis is important for what I'm what I'm going to do next, and that is I use the extract command, and I made a exact duplicate of this, and then I scaled it. So I had an internal shape. I scaled it by 0.9, and so it there's a little gap in between, as you can see if I say Control H and I cut it in half, you can see there's the outer, there's the inner. Uh, they're identical except one smaller than the other, and they're both um, built around uh, zero, zero, zero. And then I did that again. I extracted that body and scaled it once more. And so then I had three of them. Uh, the three are obviously a different color. It's roughly red, white, and blue. It's very patriotic. It's actually white, magenta, and blue, but close enough. Uh, then, finally, um, I got it into the 
animation package and in the animation package it's so powerful you start by creating rigid bodies rigid bodies so each one of these was a rigid body and the coordinate system was its own rigid body and once you have the rigid bodies then you can go ahead and start defining the revolutes so the first revolute was about the y-axis and it was a revolute between the coordinate system and the outer model then the second revolute was about the x-axis the x-axis in the middle model and the third revolute was about the y-axis or the z-axis I'm sorry the z-axis and the inner model so I had three revolutes and once I had the revolutes then I used a speed motor speed motor and with the speed motor you select the revolute or the slider or whatever the joint is that you're choosing to put speed on and you're defining a number of degrees per second unless you unless you switch it to uh, revs per minute revs per second rad, rads per second and rads per minute so I went with uh, revs per minute oh, I'm sorry I'm, I, I went with degrees per, per minute there it is and I typed in 30 and so I had three speed motors uh, okay and then I was ready to animate with the speed motors uh, if you hit play and this will look really funny because it's uh, cut off. But um, that's really that's really fancy. Uh, so there is a lot of fun. Uh, so happy Friday. I'm uh, glad we made it. <laughs> I'm glad you watched this video. Please, if you would, uh, subscribe and help us out. And uh, we're going to be doing these uh, more regularly. So please check back here and there. If you subscribe and like, you'll get a nice little notification and um, also feel free to leave us comments and tell us what you think of these things and you could even request uh, different subjects that you might want us to delve into because we really love doing this and it's a pleasure thank you very much again my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and may you have a wonderful day doing some sort of fantastic model thank you